guys, I'm Maisel just Sugar Boogers. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you are new. So today, you guys, this is going to be my first ever experience in BitLife. Now, I've literally watched everybody and their mother play this game and I wanted to play it because it seriously looks like it is so much freaking fun. And very briefly before we jump into the video, I just want to apologize because as you guys know, if you've been a follower of my channel for a while, I don't typically do face cam videos and it shows <laughs> like it shows. Um, first of all, this background, it's atrocious, right? I tried to do something super duper cute, but then my camera decided it hates my face. So we uh, we put a timeout on that. And then also I bought my very adorable, super duper freaking amazing uh, penguin light. And I needed an excuse to kind of like post her up. So she's kicking it in the background. You can get this bad boy off of Amazon if you want to. And if you've never seen my face before, it's not too late to unsubscribe now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm having a moment. Like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Just flat up, keeping it raw and real. I am having a moment. Like, doing face cam videos, it is a struggle. It is an adjustment. But I am glad that I'm here and I'm able to actually, like, I don't know, connect with you guys a little bit more. So before I get all deep and, like, hallmark on ya, we're going to go ahead and start playing the game. So let me make sure that I'm recording because the other time that I did do this, I wasn't recording. Also another struggle. <laughs> Don't usually do these types of videos. So we're going to go and kick it off by starting a brand new life. And I'm not going to lie, the icon here, it's kind of different. It's kind of interesting. Very excited. All right. So my name is Mercedes Liquor. Of course it is. <laughs> Liquor. Nice. Love it. Okay. So I am zero years old. I was born in Charlotte. United States. I was conceived on a Caribbean cruise. Apparently my uh, my family knows how to get down and dirty. <laughs> um, my birthday is January 10th and I'm a Capricorn. My name is Mercedes Licker. I already know. Uh, my father is Levi Licker, a receptionist, age 19. And my mother is Riley Bradford. Oh, wow. She's an Air Force enlistee, age 20. Cool. All right. So just in case you guys didn't get it the first time, this is my first time playing BitLife. So literally have no freaking clue what it is that I am doing. Um, let's just go and check the relationships really quick. So obviously I do have quite a great relationship with my parents. Awesome. I love it. Okay. All right. So let's go and age me up a little bit. Um, it says my mother has been promoted to the airman first class. Nice. All right. Um, you guys can't even see my freaking phone. Like, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> my mother has been promoted to a senior airman. My mother is a freaking boss. All right. Let's go on. Um, age three. My mother gave birth to a girl, Anita Bradford, my new half sister. She was the result of a random bumble hookup. What the f is a bumble hookup? Like somebody enlighten me because I have no idea what that is. All right. My mother has been promoted to a sta staff surgeon. I wonder if, yeah, you know what I'm thinking. I wonder if she's getting these promotions because she's hooking up with Bumble. I don't know. All right. <laughs> so I'm five years old. Uh, let me go and see what else we can do here. If I'm an infant. Okay, that's my information. Um, activities. Ooh, I think I can do something. Hold on a second. I could actually go and visit the doctor. So let's go and visit the doctor. We are going to go um, visit the emergency room because, you know, I'm a little bit of a diva. You know, I like to cry wolf sometimes. So let's go and visit the emergency room. Um, all that wait for nothing. You were, you were treated at the emergency room. Effectiveness, zero. Okay, let's age up a little bit. All right, so now I'm age six. This was a great year for me personally, so I can't wait. My mother gave birth to, oh my God, a girl named Cameron Bad Bradford, my new half-sister. She was conceived in the bathroom of a freaking club. What the hell? Who wrote this? My mother has been promoted to a technical sergeant. I started elementary school. Are you freaking kidding me? In a bathroom? Are you freaking serious? Like, I'll take Caribbean cruise any day, every day, over a bathroom. Age nine, my half-sister Anita started elementary school. My mother has been promoted to master sergeant. Where the hell is my dad in all this? Because he seems like the only level-headed guy, you know? Um, okay, cool. Oh, wow, not so cool. Your half-sister Anita confesses to you that an older girl makes fun of her skin at school every day. She asks you for help. What will you do? First of all, if I was Anita, 
I would probably sock her in the face, but that isn't the answer. Second of all, if that was my sister, let's see what I would actually do. Finally, a bully and assault her, refuse to help her, report the bully to her teacher. Okay, honestly, I'm kidding. I would never assault somebody because obviously that's not the answer here. So I would report the bully to her teacher. That's my little sis. You reported the bully to Anita's teacher. Her appreciation, very little. Apparently she probably wanted me to beat her up, which you know what, I get that, I feel it. Okay, so my half sister Anita is being bullied at school. I reported the bully to Anita's teacher, age 11, school club. Your parents said that you have to join school club this year. Which one would you pick? Hmm. Okay, um, honestly, I told you guys earlier that I'm a little bit of a drama queen, so I'm definitely going to choose drama club. Otherwise, we could do chess. We could also do model UN, or I'm not joining any of them. But you know what? I think drama club would be good for me. So we're going to do that. All right, so let's go and age up again. And it says age 12. Hmm. My half-sister Cameron started elementary school. My mother has been prom promoted to senior master sergeant. <laughs> okay, mom. Go, mom. <laughs> How old is mom these days? All right, social media. Your friends are all joining social media. What should you do? Um, I'm obviously going to join social media too. And then, let me see. Oh, we are now a social butterfly. You signed up for a social media account. Okay, let's check our relationships real quick. Um, so, our sister Cameron literally freaking hates us, which is crazy. I don't know why. Uh, my sister Anita likes us a lot. And then we have great relationships with both our mother and our father. Uh, first kiss. Oh my God. Okay. Seriously. I need to take a sip of my Red Bull because girl, ooh, it smells like it's spicy up in here. All right. Hold on a second. His looks are mediocre. All right. So Bob isn't like, you know, top tier, but he's definitely like solid, you know, middle, which is fine. I like, <laughs> I like that. All right. So we could kiss him. Oh, hell no. Kiss him with the tongue. Sis, how old are we? We are like 14, 15 tongue. No, run away from him. Kiss him, but definitely no tongue kiss him but definitely no tongue listen here <laughs> when i was 15 oh, that was like getting germs like i don't know where that tongue's been okay so first baseman you kissed bob oh in our experience we didn't like it okay or he didn't like it not really sure relationships so we don't have a relationship with bob which i was kind of curious to maybe see if we did uh let's go and do an activity um let's do some mind and body because we need to get it right so we are going to go and work out the work out at the gym and it says um leisure charlotte fitness center go to your local gym and work out today the cost is 15 dollars. flat broke you don't have enough money to go to the gym you are broke oh we need to get some cash all right you know what let's just continue on our life's driver's license it's time to take your driving test will you take it absolutely freaking lootly. let's take it oh my god what does this road sign mean uh oh um uh are you serious like i have to answer these questions <laughs> what is it what does it mean i don't you know what it means um stop ahead yield ahead hazards on oh my god i'm gonna say hazards on no that's a yield sign let's do yield ahead okay oh i did it done and done you passed the driving test i guessed y'all i literally guessed okay 17 i'm starting to think my half sister Anita has an eating disorder. This is creepy. This is kind of scary, actually. Um, and you're probably like, well, why is that creepy, Jen? I'll explain to you a little bit later because that's, that's, that 17. That's a hard year, let me tell you. So you know what? I'm also 17. My sister's going through her own times. I kind of want to like you know, have someone to love. I want to, I want to date somebody. I want to like, you know, I want to feel some warm feelings. So, um, ooh, okay. Apparently, um, Alvaro Twain might be a possible match. You're tempted to ask out a boy from school. His name is Alvaro Twain. He is 17. He looks amazing, but he's a little bit of a dodo bird in the brain. Um, he is a little loco, but we like that too sometimes. And he isn't that popular. So he's a little bit different because we, I like to say that I'm popular, but I don't really know that yet. So you know what? Let's ask him out. Cool. Lovebirds. You are now going out with Alvaro Twain. Mm, all right. <laughs> this mercedes is living and she is thriving my friends all right let's go and uh continue our lives we are 18 we have graduated we have graduated high school all right pretty boss um let's pick a major mathematics uh one plus one is uh two right no so that's that's if i had to think about it it ain't gonna be math it ain't gonna be mathematics let's do um computer science philosophy why can't I do something different? None of this. Maybe philosophy. I like to think we're a mind reader. Let's also apply to... No, wait. Hold on. Is it not for us? No, it's for us. We're going to apply to university. Screw it. Cool. All right. So how will you pay for your university program? Can I get a sugar daddy? 
you know what? My mom seems like she has some money. Let's actually ask my mom to pay. All right, there we go. Unconditional love. Your parents refuse to pay for your university university tuition. Okay. Um, I guess we need to apply for a scholarship. You. Oh wait, hold on. They have one for everything. Your application for a scholarship to university has been awarded like what else were we supposed to do um scholar you are now enrolled in university yay okay so age 18 was a very big year for us we uh graduated from high school our half sister anita also started high school um and then we i think we got in a relationship with we alvaro we hold on alvaro graduated from high school Wait, hold on. Okay, so our boyfriend also graduated. That's pretty cool. I applied for a university. I was accepted. My parents refused to pay for my university uh, university tuition. I um, was awarded a scholarship to university, and I started it. Cool. All right, so age 19, Alvaro started a new position as a travel associate, associate for Stockholm Travel Service. Wow. Okay. Oh, my God. What? I'm pregnant. Like, oh, what? Okay, what am I gonna do? I'm going to keep the baby because I mean, that's 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 what you do, right? Like you, yeah. I'm gonna keep the baby. I I, I made my bed and I'm gonna lay in it. Oh my freaking god! Keep the baby. Whoa. Okie dokie, artichokey. <laughs> I was running and I swallowed a fly. Are you sure that's all you swallowed, sis? Because listen, you swallowed a lot more than that. Um, we had a son and we are going to name him Jalen. Oh, I love that name. If your name's Jalen. Let me know in the comments down below because I like it. Yay! We graduated from university with an undergrad degree in philosophy. What will we do now? We can take some time off. We can look for a job or we can seek some higher education. So I hate to say it. You know, I had a kid at a really young age. You know, just 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 putting that out there. Kind of want to take some time off and I want to do me a little bit, which probably isn't the responsible thing to do. But, you know, I have always been quite the dramatic individual and I need to be selfish. So, you know, I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to do that. And with that time off, I am going to go and work on my mind and body. We're going to go and visit the gym. Wait, we are. Oh, oh, we are in debt. We are penniless. You don't have enough money to go to the gym. You are broke. I didn't realize that. So, you don't. No, no, no. We we need to go and uh, we need to get a job. Can we get a job? Let me see here i'm not exactly sure how we can do that but um movie theaters that was stupid that was dumb girl what are you thinking you should have gotten a job uh how much time are we taking off let's see i don't want to commit a crime i'm gonna have to i don't have any money burglar burg can we burglary oh my god grand theft auto kill somebody no i can't do any of this uh we need to marry somebody like serious dating app let's do it um pick your desired income like literally i don't have any money to do this hook up one night stand oh my god no we're we're, we're crazy we're going rogue we're, we're gonna rogue rogue we're gonna do it we're gonna take him to bed oh my god oh my god <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, safe sex. Things are getting hot with James. And you're thinking about safe sex. It looks like he has some craziness going on down below. What do you do? Never mind. I cannot do it. Uh, we don't have any money. We are literally, we are so in trouble right now. It's not even funny. Like, assets, occupation. There we go. I just realized we can get a job. So let's go. Wait, get a job? Um, we are going to get a job. What do we what do we do? A philosophy, right? So, marriage counselor. Let's do it. Absolutely. We're going to apply for the position. Welcome to the Charlotte Medical Center. Marriage counselor earns an annual salary of $39,122. You guys, I am literally freaking sweating. This is awesome. I'm having so much fun. Age Oh my age 25 we have puegos uh we should we should keep the baby absolutely now because we all make it a little buddy we got some coin in our pocket you know i want to do some things i want to do some things let's go and move i'm ready to move or no horse races now nah, i'm good license i want to buy a car can we buy a car i don't think we actually have one or let's go on a vacation uh we're gonna go on a little cruise because my mom did the whole cruise thing who knows maybe we'll get we'll we'll, we'll know we're pregnant. We can't do that right now. Let's do a regular vacation. Uh, let's Washington, United States. Um, let's go to France. Frick it. We're going to go to France and we're going to do first class because we feel bad and we feel bougie. I'm, I'm, a, dra I'm a drama queen. Uh, so we are going to bring Alvaro and Jalen, have my kids, have an experience. The whole cost. 
Edit the plan. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I guess it's Washington, United States economy. How, how about that? Okay, your boyfriend, Alvaro, wants to go with you. Your child wants to go with you. What do you want to do? Let's bring them both. Uh, still don't have the money to do it. Edit the plan. Okay, guess we're not traveling because your girl cannot afford it. Let's go and do some clubbing instead. Let's uh, let's go to the Venus nightclub. Perfect. Where's my shoe? You went clubbing at Venus. I'm loving this. This is so much fun. Okay, argument. Uh-oh. Ooh, you guys. We's about to have some problems. Mm-mm. Uh, it says, another clubber has started arguing with you because you made a lewd gesture at her while she was drunk. I would not. What the heck is going on? Assault her, argue back at her, walk away from her. We're going to argue back. We're feisty. We're drama, remember? Okay. That ought to teach you. You ridiculed her and she apologized. That's right, bish. Bow down. Mercedes Liquor, she's the queen in town. <laughs> so how is my relationship with Alvaro? Can I? Oh, oh my God. There's so many more things you can do. Ask him for money. Break up with him. Compliment him. You know what? Like, I like Alvaro. Um, we have a great relationship with him, but I'm going to be honest honest with you guys like ooh, I kind of just I don't know I don't know what to do you know what let's just have the baby and we'll come back to it we'll come back to it okay so we are now 26 and we have a son what are we gonna name him uh we're gonna name him Jordan oh Joe apparently Joe Twain whoopsie I <laughs> meant Jordan but that works too oh my god Alvaro and I have been together for 10 years okay so now that we've been in a relationship for 10 years I really just don't feel like I'm in love with him like I'm being honest and I don't want to like create conflict but like you know, I'm 27. I've been with him since I was a kid. It's time to go find ourselves, boys. It's time to go find ourselves. That's what we're gonna do. So we are going to, uh, we're gonna go and break up with him, which is a little sad, but uh, oh my God, it's like all official and shit. It's like, confirm. Are you sure you wanna break up with your boyfriend? Oh my God, like we could be high school sweethearts, but I'm sorry, yes. See ya, deuces. Uh, you broke up with your boyfriend, Alvaro. Okay, so let's be single for a few years. Okay, we have also been given another raise. We make $47,000. It looks like we are actually becoming like our mother and we have so much freaking money like so much money so 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 much money um let's go and find a little bit of love we're gonna do a dating app your desired age oh we want to let's go for sugar daddy you know what i said i mean we, we, we doing big girl things we want to do big boy things too you know what i mean let's try it all right cool so uh quincy wallace all right his uh occupation is an apprentice no his looks nah money uh, craziness off the shots no thank you not my type let me can we try again no i wasn't done i was not done i was not done i want to go again let's try it again let's we're gonna we're gonna find ourselves a little a little sugar daddy let's do it all right so desired age i'm not gonna find a freaking sugar daddy at like 20 29 so let's 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 up the ante a little bit all right let's do uh sixty thousand. Okay, cool. George Martin. All right, so it looks like the dating app has paired you with a male named George Martin. He is 40 freaking years old. He is a senior mail carrier at the city of Charlotte. Uh, his looks, well, I mean, he looks like a foot. And he's definitely not the brightest crayon in the box, but he's got a lot of money and he's crazy. So let's go for it. We're going to go on a date. Whatever. Going steady. We are now dating George Martin. All right, so 29, my half-sister Anita has been promoted to architect, blah, blah, blah. I went to go visit my girl Ruby at the women's prison. I didn't know I had a friend named Ruby, but okay. Encounter, car giveaway. While sitting on a park bench, you run into the BitLife devs. They show you a brand new silver Ford Fusion with a ribbon on it and say it's yours. If you turn on the notifications for BitLife, what do you do? Wow, thank you. I don't want a free car. No, wow, thank you. Absolutely. Okay, dream come true. The BitLife devs give you a brand new Ford Fusion. I mean, I'm a sucker for a free car. Let's be real. All right, I have been given a raise. Cool, we make $51,000 got a free ford fusion all right you know dirty 30 it's treating me right i love it um okay so ooh, my sister cameron married a guy named Dwayne gray okay he is a 26 year old trucker uh she changed her name to cameron gray or bradford gray and e ethiopia's leader kitwa I don't know how to say his name, began laughing uncontrollably controllably during his UN address. The internet has a field day. All right, cool. So road rage. Oh, I love this one. All right. So while driving your car, you see 
toddlers in another car who are not buckled and what will you do run her off the road who who would do that if they're not buckled in how stupid to try to ignore her make an angry gesture at her yes let's do it car accident you get into a fender bender while driving your ford fusion sustained minor damages repaired oh my god i'm cracking up okay all right let's let's see um how our relationship with our man is doing uh we are gonna ask him for some money whatever your boyfriend george said he couldn't help you Ooh. okay george well maybe maybe george just doesn't want to be like you know i don't know played um so maybe we can propose to him because ooh, ouch your boyfriend george rejected your marriage proposal well then george can off we're gonna go and insult him or you know what let's actually just break up we're done moving on he ain't gonna give it to me we don't want it we are 35 my half sister has been promoted to a senior accountant one thing i will say about this family um hello like the girls in here they are bad bitches like they are making their own coin they're not relying on anybody even though mercedes tried it she definitely tried it so mercedes wants to play the part she has a hundred and whatever thousand dollars in her bank you know what let's go and i don't know let's get some plastic surgery shoot why not let's go and get a little botox we're getting a little bit older we want we don't want our forehead to move um we're gonna go to the dr allison goodhead all right so botox was six hundred and one dollars get the surgery let's do it okay how do you like me now results eh. your botox was successful successful can't spell can't talk whoa can't spell can't speak okay so we are 36 years old let's start getting into a little bit of a relationship here love yet again we're gonna hook up with somebody um absolutely not let's try that again uh, let me see. Alexander Cash. Ooh, okay. You have an opportunity to have a one night stand with a name with a man named Alexander Cash. All right, give it to him. All right, cool. So, uh, safe boo boo. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Just for the night, you had a one night stand with Alexander Cash. You have a hard time walking straight the next day. <laughs> what? Can I like marry this guy? Cause obviously let's go on the dating app again you know what let's just let's just let's just pick somebody within our realm of things how about that um tommy he seems like oh he's a trucker no offense but mercedes is a little picky okay so let's try this again all right let's see who we can find bart cox no thanks just the name alone has got me feeling some type of way god why is her problem she cannot date you know what let's just Let's just go about it. A couple more years in the life. Okay, 37. Nothing happened. All right, so we're having a quarrel. We are having a quarrel. You and your half-sister Cameron are feuding about whether or not you would rather live on Mars or at the bottom of the ocean. If it has to be living on the same freaking rock as her, I would live in the bottom of the ocean. We're going to complain to Mother, apologize to her. We're going to insult her because I'm sick and tired of Cameron. Take that. You called her a dingbat. I wanted to call her a lot more, but dingbat was the nicest thing I could say. All right, continue. Uh, Ford Fusion, your car has a clogged fuel pump. That's why I never would buy a Ford. Repair it. Um, your Ford Fusion, and you're back in service. Oh, I forgot. We could do all these other things. Like, I don't know. Get a freaking house. Let's shop for some damn real estate. Let's do it. Uh, we are going to move up in life. It took us a while to get it, but this is my first time. I forget all these things are here. We are going to Coleman and Fuchs, whatever the heck. Um, we are going, oop, just kidding. Let's get ourselves. I mean, we were saving up, right? Because we want to, we want to be, uh, we want to be balling. So we could get a lovely condo. Let's do it. Um, we're going to go and, ooh, we are going to buy it with cash because we balling, sis. New pad, you are now the owner of a lovely condo. All right. Cool. I'm very excited. Assets, we have $24,000. Let's work a little bit. Um, my son, Jalen, started a new position as a writer for the AAA Press. Mama raised him well. I love him. All right. I'm starting to suspect my dad is a regular at the nudist colony. I'm not even mad. While walking downtown, you meet a guy named Carter Balboa. He is 32 years old. He is a master sergeant in the army. He doesn't have the best of looks, but he's extremely smart. He does make good money and he isn't all that crazy. So you know what? Looks honestly aren't everything. If I vibe, we vibe, bottom line. So you know what? Let's ask him on a date. My one out of 7.44 billion. You are now dating Carter. Oh, so excited. Road rage. 
page, another car is weaving through traffic without using a turn signal while you were out with your boyfriend, Carter. What do you do? Uh, run him off the road because we've had enough of that. Gnarly. You ran the driver off the road into oncoming traffic. You saw him get into a terrible accident in your rear view mirror. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Then don't drive like an idiot. Okay, Joe Twain. Your son is asking for you to pay for his college education. He wants a major in philosophy. Oh my god, yes! We're gonna pay that tuition! And he only kind of appreciated it. So, my son Jalen moved out. My son Joe graduated from high school. I agreed to pay for Joe's education. We are now 30, I think 30 something, or no, 40 something at this point. Movie theater. Your boyfriend Carter is asking um, you to take him to the movie theater. He wants to go see Enter into the Dark Net. It's a science fiction movie. Um, sure, let's take him to the movies. Absolutely. You took Carter to the theater. Your enjoyment, you liked it. Carter's enjoyment, he loved it. Perfect. All right, so let's continue. Ford Fusion, you went off-roading and broke a shock absorber. First of all, I would never, okay, ever in a million years go off-roading in a Ford Fusion. You know what? I might fix it later. You know what? I'm not worried about it. You know why? Because we are going to go and we are going to buy a brand new car. So we're going to shop for some cars. Let's see what we can find. Um, we are going to Charlotte Motors and Lexus LC used. Oh, that's a bad car. That is a freaking boss. In case you guys don't know what Lexus as LC is it's like my dream car well one of them actually but yeah it's nice I like it a lot uh, I'm not gonna spend all my money on that you know just trying to be smart here but let's get an Audi A5 let's uh buy it with cash because we got that okay sugar daddy nah pause sugar mommy hill yes all right new ride you are now the proud owner of a one year old purple ew Audi A5 gross okay all right so we are 47 um and Carter and I have been together for five years let's see proposal your boyfriend carter asked you to marry him you've been together for six years absolutely i'm in love why not you are now engaged to your boyfriend carter your son jalen has just come out of the closet as gay how will you respond argue with him support him unconditionally pretend you didn't hear him and assault him honestly if my son ever came out as gay to me, I would 100% support him unconditionally. No hesitation. Unconditional love. You told your son Jalen that you love him and you support him no matter what. His appreciation, a thousand percent. Oh, I love my kids. I want another one. Is it too late? It's too late. I'm 49. Okay. Uh, my son Jalen came out of the closet. My son graduated from the university with an undergraduate in philosophy. He graduated school. New Zealand has begun airstrikes against Colombia, confirming an onset of a war offered my son Jalen my unconditional love following his difficult decision to come out of the closet I'm actually loving my life my life is freaking awesome all right age 50 massive casualties of the war uh remarkably only 66 die that's tough okay my son Joe graduated from uh graduated from school he now started a position as a clerk for the Charlotte Public Library Joe Joseph! Oh, your father passed away at the age of 71. He died of AIDS. We actually inherited $11,000. We're obviously going to attend his funeral. Um, demand. Your fiance is demanding that you get married. You have been engaged for five years. Um, sure, I mean, I, I want to marry you. Let's do it. Country club? Hell no. Let's get married um, at the Vineyard in Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, let's do, I think it's a Bogada. I don't know how to say that. Bogada, Colombia. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So you have chosen to marry Carter at the Vineyard and take him to Colombia for your honeymoon. Let's do it. Uh, prenup, your fiance is demanding that you sign a prenuptial agreement before he will marry you. Do I care? His net worth is six. His net worth, you guys, is six hundred and forty-eight freaking thousand dollars. Of course, we're gonna agree to the prenup. Okay, it says you agreed to sign a prenup before you married your fiance Carter Shackled. You married Carter at the vineyard. You went to you know Bogota, Colombia, for your honeymoon. Um, now that you're married. He, you're wondering if you should change your last name. Sure. <laughs> Honestly, I would rather be a uh, Balboa than freaking liquor. So we are obviously going to change our name. Cool. All right. So what is your name again? Your name is Mercedes Balboa. That is my name. All right. So what do we got? We got a lot of money. Let's get some more money. I'm starting to think my sister. Oh my God. I don't even know what to do at this point. All right. You know what, Cameron? I know we haven't had a relationship. 
but um you know what let's just go and have a conversation with her so it's like that your sister isn't interested well you know what i didn't realize that we should probably start actually trying to rekindle our relationship we just are not good with her like at all let's spend some time with her she doesn't care she doesn't want anything to do with us you know what whatever i'm, I'm over it 68 years old i'm 69 years old my half sister anita retired oh my god i'm actually kind of getting attached <laughs> age 70 my riddle my wrinkles are starting to bother me so much i'm thinking about getting plastic surgery let's do it says i am all for it you want to change something about yourself don't let anybody tell you you can do it whatever it may be i mean you're pretty as you are but if you feel better this way then do what you gotta do okay cool so we are going to wait hold on a second we are we are oh my god we're old look at our little icon um dr let me see here where is it plastic surgery okay all right so we are going to get a little botox all right we are going to visit our uh old doctor let's do La lanika bulba this time see if she's better uh she's a little less expensive but we're gonna get the surgery but we were way happier with her results so also because you know we're feeling we're feeling a little droopy um i want to get a breast augmentation we are going to go with our doctor that we apparently have built a relationship we love her we're going to get the surgery fix her up or no more your breast augmentation was successful cool all right so how are we looking if i click my face oh my god we are thriving okay cool so uh, our gender is female. We are 70 years old. We are in the closet. We are married. We have two children. We um, have a degree in philosophy. We are a marriage counselor. Our diseases, we actually have hay fever, but we're decent looking. Um, but we are extremely intelligent, very healthy, and we are extremely happy okay wow that is awesome riley bradford your mother passed away at the age of 92 oh my god oh that's so sad carter and i've been married for 20 years congratulations carter and uh mercedes i mean hello all right so let me just go in um, compliment him a little bit. Very, aw, he, it's mutual. Your husband, Carter, called you legendary. Thanks, I am legendary. All right, so let me see what else is going on. We are suffering from the common cold. Um, our Audi has been broken. We're having a lot of problems with this Audi. You know what? I am over it. So how much longer is this chick going to live? Because I feel like we are not dying for nothing. Let's continue. Okay, 78. Nothing's happening. Um, steak tartare. Some of your friends are eating some steak tartare. Uh, would you like to join them? It might be tasty. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, constipation. We are constipated. Oh, my God. We are old. That's what's happening. <laughs> this is some serious issues. Okay, cool. Anita Mendoza, your half-sister Anita has passed away at the age of 81. She died from Alzheimer's. Oh my god, I loved her. Oh my goodness. I really did. We had such a good relationship with Anita. That's sad. Spat, you and your half-sister, we are forever fighting. You and your half-sister Cameron are feuding about whose turn it is to use the computer. Whatever. Like, what? Uh, you know what? Apologize to her. I'm always apologizing. Oh my freaking god. I was hoping for a computer for my birthday, but instead got a comb. Like, what? I'm freaking 86 years old. Like, buy your own and you have like a million freaking dollars i crawled with my sister cameron uh about whose turn it was on the computer i apologize to her for arguing i'm i'm old what what are we arguing about life is freaking precious repair it you know what since life is precious let's go on that dream vacation that we tried to do like years ago so you know what that's exactly what's gonna happen i don't know where we're gonna do this or how we're gonna do this but i want to do it i want to go on a dream vacation of my life we are going to go to egypt we're gonna go first class we are going to go with carter we can pay the eleven thousand dollars we had the best time of our lives you and your half sister you guessed it cameron are arguing about who looks older what do you do apologize to her i'm always apologizing what is my relationship like with her like i want to know at this point because it's just never getting any better um okay well it's a little bit better but not by much all right 89 years uh 90 years holy crap pitbull replied to a tweet that i posted are you kidding pitbull like the singer oh i'd fangirl so hard i love him all right, I might fix it later. You know what? Uh, we are, there's no point in getting another car because we're 91 years old. Okay, quality time. Your son Joe wants to take you to pick flowers. Of course I do. I love it. Good times. You went to pick flowers with your son Joe. Your enjoyment could have been better. Rather be playing like, I don't know, bingo at the, you know, town hall or something. But that's cool. His enjoyment, he loved it. He was living. All right, Cameron Bradford. Your half-sister? Oh my God, Cameron passed away at 86. She died peacefully in his sleep. Of course, we're going to attend her funeral. Um, all right, so it looks like, uh, let me see. Carter and I have been married for 40 years. Holy shit shoot 
Okie dokie. Um, movie theater. Your husband wants to is asking you to take him to the movie theater. Oh my god. Whatever. He loves the movies. Actually, I enjoyed it. We went to go and see the Friends in Giants, and it was a great time. Ninety five. Oh my god. It says court court On your way to the airport, you and you encountered a court winking at you, <laughs> honey. He probably had dirt in his eye, literal dirt, because nobody is gonna be winking at a freaking hundred year old lady. Okay, you know what? Solicit her, assault her, ignore her, whatever. That is just weird. Oh, is that like a prostitute? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. And your son, Jalen, has passed away at the age of 76. He died of meningitis. Oh, my God. I want to die. Depression. You have been diagnosed with depression. I want to die. I'm begging BitLife. Kill me. My kids are gone. Joe, I outlived my freaking kids. No, my Joseph. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. My heart couldn't take it anymore. Mercedes. Balboa, you died at the age of 100 freaking years old. You died while sleeping peacefully. We died March 3rd, 2019. Our net worth was 1.8 million. We lived in Charlotte our entire lives. Our job as a marriage counselor was pretty fulfilling and very successful, might I add. Our education is just university level. We had two children, four lovers, and our happiness was zero because when our sons passed away, it honestly took every bit of Mercedes' will to live and just threw it down the drain. Uh, Mercedes died peacefully in her sleep at the grand old age of 100. Her services were attended by her beloved husband, Carter, a witty woman she studied philosophy in college. Mercedes worked as a marriage counselor for many years. Friends described her as someone of strong moral fabric. So you guys, that was your girl's first time ever playing BitLife. I hope that you all enjoyed, and if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next time bye guys you want to say hi you want to say hi <laughs> he's like no i don't want to say hi mommy's double chin is saying hi <laughs> just kidding <laughs> i love you i miss you we sweeping yeah we sweeping say it's been two years mom two years since you've seen my face and how are we feeling about it i'm feeling pretty good want to kick it with me in the video yeah you do should we get you a little bit closer? Nobody can see you. Huh? Yeah, nobody can look at that's you. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty pretty cute. <laughs> pretty handsome. Cool. Cool? Huh. What was that? Huh. <laughs> what was that? Huh. That sounded like a bad word. That sounded like mama huh. gonna get demonetized. <laughs> oh, you're the best thing about this video, buddy. Other than the fact that I'm about to pull my eyelashes off. I saw it. Stop.